This is a Love at Physics video for IB higher level. Topic 11 on changing magnetic flux and EMF. In the previous video, we saw that magnetic flux and magnetic flux density are related to the strength of a magnetic field in a particular area. Now, Faraday's equation links this to how much EMF, electromotive force, is produced by a changing magnetic flux. And Faraday's equation in your data booklets is represented like that. The EMF produced by a changing flux is equal to the number of turns times by the rate of change of flux. Now remember also that flux is equal to B A. So we could rearrange this equation to say that. Now the important thing to notice about this equation is that whenever there is a changing flux within a coil of wire, there is an EMF produced. Now that doesn't matter if that coil of wire is connected to anything or not, there is always an EMF produced. Now if that coil of wire is connected to stuff, then a current is induced as well. There are lots of different ways of changing the flux in a coil of wire. And to show you them, I've got a coil of wire just here, which is connected to this ammeter here. And I also have some magnets. Now the most common way of showing this uh, relationship is by just moving the coil of wire relative to the magnet and you can see there that that's creating an EMF and therefore creating a current because this is a complete circuit. And that EMF is produced because the flux is changing. Imagine you, from the point of view of the coil the magnet is moving and so the magnetic field is changing. The magnetic field lines are cutting through all the areas made by all these turns. And so the magnetic field lines are changing as the, as the coil moves relative to the magnet. And that change is this change here, the change of magnetic field inside the particular area. And that creates an EMF. Now if I stop moving then the magnetic field is no longer changing and so the current drops down to zero. So that's the first way. The second way is to change the area. We can change the area and that slightly changes our equation to this. Still the same equation but instead of changing the magnetic field we're, also, we're now changing the area. So the easiest way to change the area is to just deform the coils like this. So I'm changing the area of those sphere, of those uh, circles. And the more I change the area, the more EMF there is. So if I change the area slower, then there's a smaller EMF, a smaller current. And if I do it quicker, there's a larger EMF and a larger current. So that's the second way. The third way, which is the most commonly used in power stations, is with the coil rotating. Now, if you imagine the magnetic field lines are coming out of this magnet and going through here and then back round to the other side of the magnet, if I flip this coil over, from the point of view of the coil, the direction of those field lines have now, has now completely reversed. So B is changing because B is changing into minus B. So B, the change in B is doubled. So if I flip this, you'll see that, again, we induce an EMF and therefore we induce a current. So there's three ways to change the flux going through the area of this coil. The first one is to either move the coil or move the magnet. The second way is to change the area of the coil. And the third way is to rotate the coil in some way. This was a Love at Physics video showing you about changing flux and EMF being induced. If you liked it and you found it helpful, please do subscribe um, or feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Thanks very much.